Hi there and welcome back. Uh, we're going to do another InDesign interactive tutorial today. We're kind of doing the baby steps and then we'll go into a, a larger, more complicated project a little bit later. But this is going to be a lesson on buttons and using those buttons to navigate through a document. I have four pages in this document. This is the first page. It has uh, some text frames on it and it also has a graphic frame with this car in it. We have another set of pages that are basically just numbers with a little ellipse text frame with the word home in it. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to again show you some basic. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up this situation here where we click on this object, this text frame. I want it to go to page two. So what we do is we click on this and this is already has a button function applied to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up and show you how I did this. But first, here's an important thing. If you apply a button function to an object, you'll end up with this little symbol here. And if you want to remove that functionality and just put it back to a regular object, you select it, you go to the buttons and forms panel, and you click over here by the trash can where it says convert to object. And that removes the button functionality from that. By the way, the buttons and forms panel is under the window menu under interactive buttons and forms okay let's jump right in here the the objects actually selected I'm gonna come over here under type and I'm gonna give it a type of button I should give these buttons a name to help me navigate this let's say uh, go to page my fingers not working here page 2 okay then I'm going to say on release or tap by the user. That means when they click on it and release a mouse button with maybe a mouse or if you're on a pad or a surface, you can uh, tap it and let up and it will do the function. The action I want to have is pretty straightforward. I want to go to a page. I want to go to a page. So basically what I'm going to do here is it comes down here and it says you're going to go to a page it's going to inherit the zoom. That means if I'm viewing this at fit to window, the page I get to when I go there will be fit in window. More about that maybe later. I want to go to page two in my document. So I just changed the page number here to two. And that's really all I have to do. I'm just going to hit tab or enter. And we can test this in the bottom lower left corner of the buttons and forms panel. In the further reference will just be called the buttons panel. We can click on this EPUB preview here and that's going to fire up my preview. I'm going to clear the preview from previous uh, in the lower left. I'm going to click on the play preview. And at this point in time if I move my mouse around you notice the arrow looks just like an arrow. But if I get over something interactive it turns into the hand. And that's kind of the universal symbol we see all the time in software or web pages letting us know there's a link. So I'm going to click on this. And, huh, it didn't do anything. Well, let's close the preview and see what the problem is. So we have the button picked. We have it named Go to Page 2. It's on a release or tap. Let's see, I have a go to page. I'm going to go to page two. Uh, let's try. Clear. Play. Two. Now, I wonder why that's not working. Well, here's a gotcha. In the lower right corner, there's two icons. And when you do an EPUB preview, it will default to only previewing this spread. So if you have a button that takes you to a quote unquote different spread, it won't do it because it's just focusing on this page. So what you gotta do is you gotta come over here in the lower right and you have to click this button, set the preview to document mode, which means it, now it's gonna work with everything within the entire document, not just this page. So let me clear, 
let me play, let me click. There I am. I'm on page two. Now, the problem we've got set up right now, and you know it, is we don't have any way to get back to home or page one. So let's fix that right now. Let's go to page two. Let's click on this object. Let's go over here and make it a button. Let's name it home. Come down here on action. And I want to go to a page. I want to go to page one. That looks great not a problem whatsoever. Now, I could also do that on pages three and four by setting up the button again. This button on two for home works the way every other button should be to take you to home. You can right click on this and copy it. Come over here on page three. I'm going to delete this one for fun. I'm going to go up here and I'm not just going to do a regular paste because that would paste the object in the center of the screen. And then I'd have to monkey around putting it back in the exact same spot as page two. So I'm going to do paste in place. I'm going to go to number four. I'm going to click here. I'm going to delete. I'm going to go over here to edit. I'm going to paste in place. So those are all set up to navigate back to the home page. Let's go back to page one. So let's set up the function for this object to take me to page three. You know the drill. Make it a button, name it, go to page three, come down here, actions, go to page, change it to three, click on this object, button, name, go to page four, action, go to page, and let's try one more. Let's say we would like when we click on this graphic, can I turn that into a button and send that to like page four? Let's see. I'm going to click here, button, graphic, I'll just name it so we keep our sanity here, go to page four, action, go to page four, all set, let's check it. So, whoops, I need to start at home. Wonder why, oh, this is coming up because of the preview before. I have to clear this. I'm on page one, you can see it over here in the layers panel. And I'm going to pick play, and I'm going to go to page two. I'm going to go home. I'm going to go to page three, and I can go home. I can page four. Uh-oh. Wonder why this one's not working. I have a hand symbol. Let's check the car. Home. So four isn't working. Let's see why. Page one click it says button go to page four go to oh i forgot to change that page number it was supposed to go to that always gets me let's go ahead and preview that again four why doesn't it work oh i gotta clear it play boom home it's really easy you just have to set up a button tell it to go to a page and always remember to give the users a home button to get them back to the table of contents. Don't leave them stranded there. Make sure you always give them a means of getting back to that start position. I hope this helps, and we'll take a look at another topic a little bit later. Mm -hmm.